Well, hello and welcome to Jonathan from the Heart. I'm Jonathan Assay of JonathanAssay.com and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, do men regret losing a good woman? Now really quickly before I get started, if you're new to my YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you can be notified of new content. And if any time during this video, this content resonates with you, do me a favor and hit that like button as well. And lastly, these are my weekend videos I shoot out on my balcony, very similar to the videos I shoot in my private group called Midlife Love Mastery. Check out the link in the group uh, in the description below to join the group. This is a group where you get to have direct access to me on a regular basis. And if you post a question in the group, I shoot a personalized video just for you in the group. So check out the link below. All right, let's talk about do men regret losing a good woman? And let me tell you where this video was birthed from. I, not too long ago, had a conversation with a client who um, the, her relationship had just ended. And during that time, uh, or during you know the interview process with her, she was telling me how she felt like this man is going to regret losing me. I'm a good woman. He's going to regret losing me. And I thought of I thought about this, you know, I thought about my own life. Do I have regrets in relationships? So today I want to share with you a couple stories and let's see if you can guess which one I actually do regret, okay? So I'm going to share with you, um, first off, it was right after my divorce, I met, um, it was about nine months after my divorce, I met a really fantastic woman. Our first date was amazing. It was just a great connection. I'll be candid with you, I'm a Leo. She totally hit all my hot buttons. She started with, uh, right off the bat, she goes, oh my God, you're gorgeous. And I'm like, to a Leo, we love that. Or at least this Leo loves that, so I'm gonna own that, okay? And we went on to have a three month relationship. Now at this time I was going in the midst of divorce. I just lost my quarter million dollar year job. My life was in chaos. I was in depression. I was actually drinking fairly heavily and, um, and I was doing drugs too, just to numb the pain. I was in a lot of pain for a very long period of time. And she was a sweet woman. I mean, she was a great woman, really good person. And um, although I ended the relationship because I just couldn't go into deeper emotional intimacy, I was so walled up and blocked that I just couldn't go there. And um, I ended the relationship and she was very saddened by it. Um, and yet to, to this day, we've remained social friends on social media. She understood, she eventually got, literally the next man she met, she got married and, and or fell in love and got married. So I, I felt like I was like, good luck, Chuck. In fact, it seems like any woman who goes out with me, the next man she meets, she gets married. In fact, this is kind of interesting because now the next two stories that happened as well. So the next story, next share is a few, um, a few years later, I met another woman and I was totally enamored with her. I mean, she was drop dead gorgeous, successful. I was enamored by her, but she was a narcissist. <laughs> and I, I mean, she was a classical narcissist. I mean, she couldn't walk past a mirror without looking at herself and admiring herself. And, and what was interesting in the relationship, she had this snarky way of belittling me, a snarky way of belittling me. And yet I was taking it. I mean, I was taking it. I was just, the, you know, she was being mean to me and I kept, I kept receiving the abuse and accepting the abuse until finally I decided to move on. That just was not the right relationship for me. And I'm sure many of you can relate to that kind of relationship uh, where someone is actually verbally abusive to you. And yet I was gravitating towards this and I literally had to put a stop to it for my own sanity, for my own sake. And that was a, a six month relationship that happened a few years after the other one. So then fast forward a few years later, met a fantastic woman, uh, intelligent, doctor, smart, beautiful, gorgeous, successful, everything about her. And we went on to have uh, a six year relationship. But even at the time I met her, I really wasn't, I, I was great woman and, um, and I was still in a place of healing from significant pain after losing my job and going through a divorce and dealing with alimony and child support and visitation rights and, and trying to navigate raising children and everything. I was still rather a mess even years after my divorce. And so this relationship, as sweet and as beautiful as it was, 
I just wasn't, the ground underneath me wasn't solid. And we ended up having a beautiful conscious uncoupling. Uh, to this day, she remains in my life. Um, and um, in fact, she was so there for me when my son passed away. She supported me and loved me. And interestingly enough, when we ended our relationship, she met a man uh, shortly after, I mean, literally shortly after, and they now live together. They bought a home and now live together. So why am I sharing all of this to you? Because what's interesting is um, I do have a little bit of regret. Let's see if you can guess which one. And I'm going to share it in a moment. Um, the regret I have was for the first one. Um, and, and partially because it was such a beautiful relationship. And yet I was such a train wreck then. And little by little, I kept improving on myself. And even that last relationship, and I, I, I think we all know the second relationship, I dodged a bullet, right? But even in the last relationship, I don't have regret because um, I'd done a lot of work to heal. And even though I was still rebuilding my life, I, the, only re I, the only regret I have is, and, and I, I have no real regret over in that, I wished my, my real regret in everything is I wished I grew up way sooner. I wished I grew up way sooner. And I mean emotionally grew up. And throughout this time, I was doing personal development work to get to the place I'm at today. So why am I sharing all this with you? You probably already turned off this video at this point, but if you haven't, I'm glad you've stayed this far. And why is this important to you? Is because it, who gives an F? <laughs> who gives an F if a man regrets breaking up with you? Why do you care? Who cares? Because what's more important and why I shared this story was I actually, little by little, was working on this self-love, self-love, working on myself. And my invitation for every one of you is to begin a daily practice of loving yourself. This is why I wrote a book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? I wrote this book as a journey for each one of you to begin personal development, self-help, and spiritual work. Because who cares if he if he broke up with you or who cares if he regrets who cares you should not care if he regrets what's most important is do you regret not loving yourself do you regret giving your power don't even you shouldn't well first off you should never feel regret but my invitation for every one of you is if you do feel regret then replace it with empowerment replace it with look at this mug it says love yourself that's the antidote to inner suffering because it's ladies it's not about what the man does even this title if you got sucked in to watch this video and this idea that if a man regrets that's our ego trying to make us out to be better than someone if just like that woman said he'll regret breaking up with me well that's simply ego saying I'm better than him I shared my stories to tell you that the reality is, is most human beings are suffering in some way, shape, or form, yourself included. The number one emotional health issue is I'm not good enough, I'm not lovable, I'm not likable. And I'm here to, you know, and on this video, I'm not gonna scream. My Jonathan from the Heart videos, I'm gonna be calm, but if you watch my live streams, I'm rather demonstrative and effusive. And I'm here to say, because I'm this way, because I want every one of you to join this club, the self-love club, so you can feel, so you can know what it feels like to love yourself and not give your power away and not care whether or not the man regrets losing you. Now I want to share with you, um, I am still, I do communicate with two of those women. <laughs> I think you know which one I'm not. Uh, we're still social friends. Um, and with my last relationship, we're family to one another. In fact, in the back cover of my book um, was taken by my most recent relationship I was sharing with you by her boyfriend, by her partner, I should say, at their home. Took this picture early morning while I was there. Um, and I'm actually quite good friends with them. If only we could just do more conscious uncoupling. If only we could do more, I say we, okay, let me reframe that. It's my invitation for more people to do conscious uncouplings. And what that is, is ending a relationship with love, recognizing that maybe two people aren't a fit for one another. And that's okay. That's okay. And if we can 
we can leave with love, if we can leave with love, we're going to feel better about ourselves and it's gonna open our hearts. Okay, I say us, I, I'm trying not to use that languaging. It's I want to invite people to open their hearts up to loving themselves more. I was grabbing my coffee cup again. <laughs> Love yourself more. Because again, ladies, who cares if a guy regrets losing you? What's most important is you loving on you. Okay, I'd like to hear your thoughts about this. I'd like to hear your thoughts on the shirt <laughs> and my coffee mug and the book and everything. Uh, please post a comment below. If you have a question, please post it below as well. I do my best to read all of them. And I think this is a good place to wrap up this video. First off, I'm going to give myself a big gigantic Jeff and Bear hug of self-love. I'm going to reach into the camera and give you a hug of love if that's okay. I'm going to ask you to turn to someone, a pet or a teddy bear or a pillow, and give it or them a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love. And let's face it, we could all use more love in our lives. I want to thank you so much and wishing you a super duper wonderful, fantastic day. Bye-bye <laughs> now.